Have you ever been so tired that you feel like you need a bedtime story to go to sleep? Well, today I'm gonna tell you a story. But believe me, it's not gonna help you to go to sleep. This story is so messed up that you're probably gonna have nightmares for a week. Maybe even a month. Maybe even the rest of your life. Because today we're looking at a story from My Story Animated called My Mom Woke Up From A Coma After 15 Years To Get Revenge. Now what kind of revenge, you ask? Oh, we're just gonna have to wait to find out. But what's up, guys? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. If you're new here, my name's Alexia, and welcome to the family. Yo, this channel has only been going on for a month now, and we're already blowing the heck up. And it's literally all thanks to you guys. This family is already so strong, and we're only getting stronger by the day, guys. So buckle up, and let's get started. Three, two, one, let's go. I could not believe it was finally happening. I was going to meet my mom. <gasps> the hospital called at 3.30 in the morning to tell my dad that my mom had finally woken up and was asking for him. I know this sounds crazy, but my mom's been in a coma since I was born. <gasps> I literally put her in a coma and she hadn't woken up once in 14 years. Wait, did she just say that she put her own mom in a coma? Somebody tell me how that works. Until this morning. My dad burst into my room, almost knocking my lamp over on my bedside table. I startled awake, and before I could even open my eyes all the way, he said, She's awake! At first, I thought he was talking about me, and I was about to yell at him for waking me up. But then I realized what he meant. My mom was awake. My mom! I never heard her voice in real life. I never seen her eyes look into mine. I've held her hand, but she's never held mine. She's been here the whole time, but she has been so far away, too. She had had a complicated pregnancy with me. I was a stubborn fetus, I guess you could say. Dang, mama, you looking pretty, uh, plump, if I do say so myself. But by the looks of that angry baby inside of you, I'd say you're about to pop at any moment. I decided that I wanted to come early, which caused a lot of issues for her, and she was rushed into surgery to get me out. Uh -oh. She never regained consciousness after she was put under anesthesia. <gasps> and because of her family's beliefs, my father never took her off the meds that kept her alive. I had always had a feeling that at some point, I would have to be the one to end my mom's life. Oh but my gosh! it didn't sound like that was going to have to happen after all. <gasps> I bolted out of bed and ran to get my brother up. He was two years older than me, so he only remembers small fragments of mom in real life. He remembers her singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star every night, and she made the best chocolate chip pancakes in the world. I don't know about you, but I don't think I was eating chocolate chip pancakes at two years old. Something's not adding up here and I don't like it. The sad thing is, he doesn't remember her smile or the way she smelled. Okay, well, maybe it's a good thing that you don't remember what your mom smells like. You know what I'm saying? Because I know my mom don't always smell like sunshine and rainbow. Those stinky feet that come out of a sweaty sock. Yeah, can't say that I miss that. Smell? And he shouldn't either! This day was the best news for all of us. Aww. My brother never said it out loud, but I knew that he blamed me for what happened to our mom. <gasps> and to be honest, I didn't expect any less. He was nice to me growing up, but I always felt like there was something between us that wouldn't allow us to get closer. Probably the fact that you put your mom in a coma. Like, I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm gonna say it's probably that. Hadn't forgiven me. The ride to the hospital seemed to last forever. Oh, and gosh, we all rushed suspense. in as soon as my dad got the car in park. Our happy reunion was cut short when the doctor stopped us outside of my mom's room. Ooh. He had a grave look on his face. Something was wrong. Uh-oh. She wants to see Emma, the doctor said, and my dad pulled me forward. He said no problem and tried to get the doctor to open the door. No, see, the doctor started. She doesn't understand that Emma is a teenager now. She thinks that she just gave birth to her several hours ago. I think all oh, of our faces dang. turned white. Of course, uh. we had thought this could happen, but we didn't know what to do when it finally came to be. No. The doctor told my dad that he didn't want to shock my mother until we were all here at the hospital with her. He didn't want to shock my mother until we were all there, you know, so we could all laugh at her at the same time. There's power in numbers. He could introduce me. This wasn't going to be easy, and we all knew that. Oh, I'm so I nervous held my for breath her. As my dad and the doctor went into my mother's room. All I could hear was some muffled talking from the doctor and my dad. Then my mom started to scream uncontrollably. Oh! Bring me my baby! I got goosebumps up and down oh. my arm. I don't know about you guys, but those don't look like goosebumps on her arms. They look more like spikes that are gonna act like a weapon when she needs 
to attack. I mean, you never know what the mom's gonna do. But he's been in a coma for 15 years. She could be half dinosaur at this point for all we know. Got goosebumps up and down my arms. This was probably the most oh, afraid that I've ever been in my life. I was so afraid that my mother was going to hate me and that she was going to think I ruined her life too. I mean, maybe. I almost ran out of the hospital, but my brother nudged me forward. The door of course the brother would nudge her forward when she thinks the mom might do something bad. The brother's still low-key pissed about the mom in a coma thing. So he's like, uh, yeah, sis, go in the hospital room. I mean, whatever happens. If she eats you, she eats you. I mean, what are we gonna do? I stood open in front of me and I walked through. I had never seen my mom with her eyes open. <gasps> she already looked so much more full of life than she had just days ago. Aw. Hi, mom, I said, twirling my fingers through my hair. I did that when I was nervous. My mom was doing the same with hers, as she said, Hi. My dad said that it was okay to step closer. Sis, don't step closer. It's all a plot, okay? Don't step closer. She's gonna do something. But that's just my opinion. I couldn't help but start to cry as I walked up to my mom. She had the same hair color as me, and her eyes were just as blue. My dad had always told me I looked like her, but uh -oh. I never could see it until now. In that moment, I felt like my mom had come back from the dead. I knew she'd been here this whole time, but she was as good as gone. I touched her face, and her eyes lit up. It's like she knew it was me. Oh. It's like she remembered my soul when she carried me in her stomach. It is you, she said, and she wrapped me in a humongous hug. We bawled together on the bed for quite some time. Oh. Then my mom pulled away from me and wiped her tears. <laughs> it's so nice to finally meet you. The last time I saw you, you were on a black and white screen. She chuckled, talking about the sonogram. I've grown since then. I giggled. I cry. Hers. Since mom had been in bed for so long, most of her muscles were weakened. She'd need lots of physical therapy to get them back into shape. She wouldn't be able to leave the hospital for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. And when she did leave, she would still be required to do lots of physical therapy and other therapies, I guess. Aww. Those other therapies would help her deal with all the time that had passed and missing out on our lives and things like that. Mama's gonna leave that hospital freaking jacked! You kidding me? One month full of exercises and therapy? She gonna be looking like the rock when she gets out. And then you're really not gonna recognize her! The one thing we didn't know how to tell her was that our dad was remarried. No. We had a stepmom for the last three years. Oh my god, my I didn't and I know that. We our dad our blessing to start dating again what? after the 10 year anniversary of when my mom went into a coma. He'd been so lonely. He'd basically only live for us. Oh and my having god. Having someone there to help with the kids would be amazing too. We decided we weren't going to tell my mom that first day. <gasps> we thought it would be too much to add to everything else that was going on. Oh, this is just heartbreaking. The mom literally just woke up from her coma. She gonna hear that news and go right back to bed. It's a no from me, sis. Peace. On the ride home, my brother blurted out that he didn't think we should tell mom at all. He thought we should make our stepmom move out. Oh, yes. I didn't think was such a bad idea. I'm down either. for that. Our dad I'm down wasn't for that. going for that. <gasps> he hadn't fallen out of love with my mom. He'd just become stagnant. And the fact that she was awake now seemed to be weighing heavy on his mind. He was silent almost the entire ride. Oh, because Papa's got two chicks now instead of one. Don't they say two is always better than one? Or is that for like chocolate or something? Maybe not people? I don't know, but I'm all for the plan to kick the stepmom to the curb and bring room for the real mom. Nothing against stepmoms or anything, but the real mom had the man first. She had dibs 15 years ago, sis. What's fair is fair. When we pulled into the driveway, I asked if he was okay he looked at me with tears oh, in his no. eyes and said he just didn't know what to do we walked into the house and gave each other the biggest hugs mm. our stepmom walked up and asked Ugh. if we were okay she knew what had happened and all of the Kick craziness it. that was now going to continue except she thought that my dad didn't love my mom anymore and that they were actually divorced <gasps> when in fact he never divorced our mom in the first place oh. this was going to be hell oh. for sure later on that night while my brother and I were supposed to be sleeping, we snuck down the stairway to listen to my dad and stepmom talking in the kitchen. So what are we going to do? My stepmom was asking. My dad was silent when she continued, saying that obviously we would need to contact my mom's family and have them help out. My dad said we were her family and she would stay with us. 
My stepmom hated that idea and suggested that we get a hotel room for her until we could figure something out. That's when... Girl's been in a coma for 15 years and you're gonna send her to a hotel on her first night back? Dang, that's cold. Unless you're gonna be sending her to a five-star all-inclusive resort on a beach somewhere? I think that plan is out of the question. That's when he dropped the bomb. We're still married, he blurted. Oh. My stepmom nodded. Yes, we are, and I have every right to say what happens in this house. He gave my stepmom the side eye and said, No, I mean that I'm still married to her. So we aren't oh. even legally married? <gasps> my dad shook his head. I could tell he was crying Bro, again. Got my stepmom let out the biggest scream catfished. I'd ever heard. I think it blew out my eardrums. With ears ringing, my brother and I rushed down the stairs when my stepmom was slinging horrible words at my father, her face Ooh. in a red rage. Her things were packed within a few hours, and she was off to her sister's house. Uh. I could tell my dad was hurt, but he looked almost relieved as well. Probably. By the end of the week, my mom was ready to come home. We set up the guest room for her, but we were surprised when she came in the house and went directly to the master bedroom. My dad didn't oh, say directly to the master bedroom, huh? I mean, I get you've been alone for 15 years, you know, not really uh, intimate with anybody, but uh, right to the master bedroom right away? Dang, that's a little straightforward, don't you think? I mean, sis, do you have your fun, but uh, don't be too loud for the kids, you know? My dad didn't say anything, Ooh. but my brother spoke up. He told her to put her things in the guest room, and she looked hurt. It's okay, Mom. You can sleep in the master bedroom tonight. I tried to assure her. Tonight? It's my bed, my house. Yeah. She looked confused and worried. And then she asked where our stepmom was. We told her she left, and I don't know if I saw relief on her. Wait! I thought she didn't know about the stepmom yet! I'm so confused! I thought they were only gonna tell her after, but I guess she knows! Maybe that's why she wants to go in the master bedroom! She's trying to mark her territory and tell this other chick to kick it to the curb! I mean, that's what I would do if I had somebody! Awkward! We told her she left, and I don't know if I saw relief on her face or terror. We all helped her get settled in the bed and she took a nap while we discussed how we were going to introduce my stepmom to my mom. However, not long after, our stepmom came to the door and knocked loudly, <gasps> Oh waking no. my mom up. My brother answered the door and in a hushed tone, he told her to be quiet. Just as the door shut again, my mom was on the landing oh, upstairs. No. Everything oh. okay? She asked and came down the stairs, coming face to face with my stepmom. <gasps> it's gonna be a mom, cat fight! this is Lisa. I said, stepping forward. Oh, you see that hand go out? The daughter's like, Mom, uh, this is Lisa. The mom's like, sweetie, get out of the way so I could beat the <laughs> out of her. It'll only take two minutes. Lisa crossed her arms as my mom put her hand out. Oh. Realizing that Lisa wasn't going to shake her hand, my mom put hers back at her side. Ooh. She offered Lisa to come on in, and Lisa snidely replied, I don't need to be invited into my own home. <gasps> I guess it just shows the type of person my mom is, but she didn't reply with something nasty and rude. She graciously smiled and offered Lisa some tea. Then she said, We can all call this place home. Lisa said, What? That's when my mom- She trying to do some sister wives type of thing? Two wives, one husband? Uh, I don't like that. I mean, do what you gotta do, but that's a little weird. And the fact that this Lisa chick literally stole the wife's husband and she's the one being rude to the original wife? Uh, no, sis, that's not how it works. You're the man stealer here. You're the one who has to be respectful, period. Almost lost her cool. Instead of flipping out and yelling at Lisa, she stirred the sugar in her tea and quietly said, you're not the one who had their entire life ripped away from them. So I Facts. don't know what you're Thank so upset you. about. You're taking my husband away, was all Lisa could muster. My mom reminded Lisa that she had actually taken her husband away first. Facts. She also said that it was extremely upsetting that Lisa got to watch her children grow up a little while she lay unconscious in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. That's when Lisa jumped up and spilled hot tea all over my mom. What the I heck, quickly sprang into psycho? action as did my brother. I grabbed a towel to help my mom dry off. That's it, that's it. If somebody ever, and I'm saying ever, laid a hand on either of my parents or any of my family members for that being, oh, it's so on. It's so, so, so on. So on that it will never be off again. I'm ready to see a boxing fight right now. Let's go. Luckily, the tea had some milk and sugar in it, so it wasn't scalding. And my brother pulled Lisa away shoving her out the door while Good. simultaneously screaming for our dad. He ran down the stairs like lightning. What is it? What's going on? He asked. 
We explained what happened and my dad took off out the door after Lisa. I helped my mom up the stairs and we got her in the shower to get the tea off of her. Mm. Then we heard shouting outside. My stepmom and dad were back. All we could hear was Lisa screaming that my dad lied to her and there was nothing he could do to get her to forgive him. I was hoping she would leave, but she came into the house and shoved herself into the master bedroom right <gasps> past my mom. I asked Lisa if she could have some respect for my mom who was changing, but she snarled at me and started stuffing a bag full of clothes. I'm out of here. Don't bother calling me, she said to my dad as she quickly she already left, left Over the next few days, my dad tried calling her, but she wouldn't answer. He tried to get a hold of her sister, parents, and everyone else that would know where she was. But no one would give him any- Man, why are you even trying to call this witch in the first place? She just threw boiling hot coffee over your wife! Seems to me like everything is fixed now! You got the psycho out of the picture! Now just live a happy life with your family! End of story! Need clues. During that time, he was also taking care of my mom, driving her to some appointments and making her food when she was hungry. Aww. My brother and I were busy with school, so thankfully, he was able to keep her company. A couple weeks after the crazy incident with Lisa, my brother and I came home to see our parents sitting on the couch together, my mom's feet across my dad's thighs. Oh. I couldn't believe the sight. When we came in the door, the two looked as if we caught them doing something wrong. They blushed oh. and tried to scramble away from each other. Oh. My brother and I burst out laughing. They were married after all. We didn't mind that they wanted to get closer. It had been almost 15 years since they'd been able to do that. That was the moment we thought that we had our mom back. She was still pretty weak and often didn't understand how to use technology, but she was smiling more and cracking jokes. Her and I talked a lot more too, and I told her about almost everything that I've done in my life to catch her up. Oh my god, guys, I'm about to cry. Why is this so heartwarming? I'm literally just so happy that they give me a family again. What the heck? I'm not crying, okay? You're crying. Mm. More too. And I told her about almost everything that I've done in my life to catch her up. We cried a lot, and I held her while she apologized for not being around. Then, things started to get strange. She'd wake up very early in the morning and turn on all the burners on the stove. The refrigerator door would be wide open, huh? and the house would smell like gas fumes when we woke up in the morning. The last time Why? that this happened, she was sitting out on the porch while everything in the kitchen was running, including the sink and the microwave. Oh gosh. The back door was left open, and I saw her curled oh, in the Oh, she's having a I mental breakdown! I asked her if she was okay. She didn't answer. I sat down next to my mom and put my arm around her. When she looked at me, all I could see was pure terror in her <gasps> eyes. Who are you? She asked and pulled away from me. I looked at her utterly confused. I'm your daughter, Emma. No, my daughter is a baby. I just had her a couple of months ago. <gasps> Who are you and why are you in my house? Dad? I called, and it took a few minutes, but he showed up on the doorstep. Something's wrong with mom, is all I could say before <gasps> she grabbed my hair and pulled my head back. No! She started screaming, Where is my daughter? And my dad grabbed her, pulling her arms behind her back. It was then that she snapped out of whatever trance she was in. She started crying and saying, I'm sorry, Emma. I ran upstairs and locked my door. To say I was terrified would be an understatement. Oh my god! Something was going on with my mom, and we needed to figure it out. <gasps> my dad called the hospital, and they told him she may have had some memory lapses. But this was way more severe than a slip of the mind. She physically hurt me. And she's a very small woman. There was something else going on here. I spent the next several days trying to keep my distance from her. She apologized to me several times after the incident on the porch, but I was still afraid to get close to her. Holy heck, I would be too! That means she's probably gonna have a lot more! And more memory lapses means more physical violence? Oh gosh, no, they're a happy family! Is it ruined? My father and brother had no problem accepting her back into the family. They would play board games and watch movies together. But every time that I would join in, I could tell that a dark mask <gasps> fell over my mom's face. My gosh. She would constantly stare at me out of the corner of her eye. And I swear I could see a red <gasps> glint flash over her normally bright eyes. However, she didn't think I was looking. Then, one night, I woke up to her staring at me from across <gasps> my bedroom. Whoa. I popped up in my bed and asked her if she was okay. Are you kidding? She didn't reply. Oh my god. I could see her eyes in the darkness. They <gasps> weren't right. I screamed for my dad again, and when he came in the room, he flipped on the light. She wasn't in the chair anymore. We searched for her everywhere in the house, but she wasn't anywhere we could see. That's what? when we heard the blood-curdling scream. Tune in next time to hear what happened with my mom in the woods. What? Are you freaking serious?
serious? My story animated? You're gonna end this story like that? You're gonna make me wait for a part two? Oh my god, I need to know what happened to this mom. Is she still mad towards her daughter for putting her in the coma? Or is it just her memory that's failing her that's making her act all kinds of crazy? I don't know, guys, but if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to see the part two, comment down below. But anyways, guys, I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.